The film is set up in a way that is so great because it's like you're kind of wandering around the psyche of this man where time and space doesn't really exist. Suddenly memories come and the unconscious starts to arrive and reality starts to bend. Yeah, it was Inception. It's the musical theater adaptation of Inception. What do you mean? A, a dream within a dream? There was a moment where I was sitting with my editor and being like, oh, we're two kicks down. <laughs> like we really literally were using the language of Inception sometimes to explain where we were uh, in time to ourselves. It's like, uh, 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 and you look out and you're like, as an artist, I'm getting to perform in a musical about artists. And this movie really is an ode to the artists. It felt like we didn't even really have to like act. We got to just do what we love. And we got to support someone that we admire and that we see a genius in, just as, as our characters saw a genius in Jonathan. Welcome, I'm Jonathan Larson. I think my favorite one is there's a moment where, <laughs> where Andrew Garfield as Jonathan Larson is straight up playing One Song Glory on his keyboard. You know, I'm, I'm doing that. You know, the, the, the One Song Glory. One Song Glory. When I saw that for the first time, I was just like, oh my gosh! <laughs> it's just so beautiful. And then he gets interrupted. Uh, and then he has a fight with his girlfriend. So there's like this, we've created a what if of like, well, if she hadn't called, he might have written one song glory that night. Um, and so uh, that, that's one I particularly like because it weirdly has canonical repercussions. And me and Lynn were always trying to find places to do it. Just like playing with little, little different phrases and melodies and like just popping them in here and there. You know, when I first come in and I call uh, Robin's character Michael Pookie, which is a, another reference to Rent. Kiss Pookie. It's great to, to be involved in the telling of a story where he was developing his writing style because the world knows Rent. They don't know how he got to it. It feels like service to John, what we're doing. And I think the thing that I'm left with as a fan of John is who are the people, what's the places, what are the activities that will make me look up at the sky, at the stars and say, wow, what a way to spend the day and thank you for life.